So last month I was uh, at the Columbus Terminal in the middle of the night and I uh, brought up to uh, a veteran, Joe out of Akron, how uh, I'd listened to the book about Robert O'Neill and uh, the man who shot Bin Laden and how I really enjoyed it. And he told me I should look up somebody named Carlos Hathcock and uh, listen to his book. And I did and it was, uh, it was exciting. It was a good recommendation, Joe. So I want to talk about that book real quick and uh, um, drivers, I'm hoping you can try to guess where I am today. Sorry about my scratchy throat here, but uh, what's interesting is I brought him up at uh, Christmas time and my brother-in-law and my uh, nephew-in-law both read the book. And uh, this is 140 pounds of sheer terror and uh, a Marine sniper, scout sniper. And so uh, the, the book, book starts with the mission where he's in the Elephant Valley. It's just him and his spotter, Burke, and uh, they look and coming down the valley is a company, about 150 men, and uh, they, they apparently have a brand new uh, officer and, and he's decided to shave days off their time by marching right through the valley. And he is able to pin down this whole company, just him and his spotter, about 150 men. And uh, they, they duck behind a dike in the rice paddy and he holds them there all day uh, kills the officer right off the bat and uh, holds them there all day. Night is falling. They call for illumination rounds from the artillery to hold them there all night long. They hold them there for days. Finally, they're running short on ammunition and they lead them toward a certain place that they've already got picked out. Artillery can hit these huts on the edge of the of the field where, where they head to. And uh, essentially, they take out a 150-man company of North Vietnamese on their own. And uh, just just amazing what uh, this guy did uh, at a time when they didn't really have much of a, a sniper program. He took a 50 caliber machine gun, put a sight on it, and used that as a sniper rifle for I think 4,000 yards. Just amazing. He squeezed one round off of a 50 caliber machine gun for a long range sniper rifle. He, uh, he took out torturers that the Vietnamese had. That was a French man that, that was an interrogator and a woman that would torture young men on the edge of camp, a Hill 55, I think it is, so that the other young men could hear uh, these young men scream and their morale would be brought down. He was able to get both of them uh, with his uh, sky, sniper skills. Very interesting. There was a there was a sniper working against them, and he he watched a uh, a sergeant get shot and um, and said that if this sniper kept uh, can't, went back to that same spot to shoot again, he was going to catch him. And uh, it was a really interesting cat and mouse game where he's following the, the sniper's trail and realizes that at, at some point the trail's too easy and, uh, and goes into that sniper's trap and shoots through the scope into the other sniper's eye and uh, pretty much points out that the only way that he'd be able to go through his orbital without hitting the scope or the orbital is that he was about to shoot him. And really, really interesting, that cat and mouse game. And then uh, the thing that really stuck with me is is uh, let the ants bite. He, he, he was going after a general. In order to get down to a 700-yard shot, he was going to have to crawl out in the open. And so he crawled for three days, moving inches per hour, and he's going through this this uh, open area. Uh, at night, has, has uh, enemy patrols come really close to him, nearly step on him, but they're not paying attention. And um, has a snake pop up in front of him and and uh, look him in the eye. And it's a poisonous uh, green snake there, and uh, just moves along. But um, he he, uh, he thought he was going to die from ant bites. But at that point, he just let the ants bite. And so here I am. You're trying to guess where I am. That maybe this will help. I've got to behave. My doctor tells me I've got to eat differently. And uh, this is what's called my name, McDonald's back here. And um, I need to let the ants bite. I need to uh, let my desire for a, a steak bagel and uh, hash browns uh, uh, just, just go away. He said that his hunger went away after two days and he'd live on peanut butter and John Wayne crackers. So I think I can, uh, I think I need to let the desire for the steak bagel 
uh, just recede. But uh, really great book. Thank you, Joel, for the recommendation and uh, would encourage you to read Marine Sniper, uh, 93 Confirmed Kills about Carlos Hathcock, a real American hero.